My name is Comfort Mausi Womeno. I'm a general nurse and a staff at the Cervical Cancer Prevention and Training Center. I'm a trainer as well. And this is uh, the screening room, one of the screening rooms that we have in the screening unit. We have the table here, which is the registration area. And then we have a screening area here as well. We have uh, beds that we screen. We can actually screen two women at the same time. We partition them so that they don't see each other. And then we have a, a couch here that they lie on because we do breast screening as well. And then we have our TV or monitor here. When we are doing corposcopy, the woman can also be seeing whatever we are doing with the scope on the, 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 the screen as well. The center is a training center. We do module one and module two. And in module one, when they come, what we teach them or the practical competence that we all, always want them to get is the counseling of the woman on the disease condition and the procedure that is going to be done. How to screen and then detect early cervical cancer or malignant lesion. We teach them how to position the woman and then we have our speculum. We teach them how to pass a speculum actually to expose the service because the service that you are going to work on. So we teach them how to pass a speculum into the vagina to expose the service. And in exposing the service, you can see it well, then you'll be able to take your sample. After exposing the service, we always teach them that VI is the most basic by very dynamic procedure. Because if you take pap smear or you take HPV sample and you leave the woman, you might not know what is going on on the service. But when you take acetic acid, you dip this cotton swab into acetic acid or kitchen vinegar with concentration of 3 to 5 percent. You dab it on the service. It will definitely show something. So module 1, all what we are teaching them is that they should go and do VIA, which is the basic of the screening method for the women. Because if a service looks like this and you take sample without applying acetic acid, it is still look normal like this. But immediately you apply acetic acid to the service, it, will, it might expose some lesions, precancerous lesions in this form for you to see. But if you don't apply anything, they go. So in the module one, we teach them how to pass a speculum, expose the service, do VI. But because we are advancing, we here do HPV testing as a primary um, screening method but we don't just do only the HPV every woman that we take sample for HPV for gets VIA which is our dynamic procedure for free and it tells us how the service looks like whether there's a precancerous lesion or not so VIA is done then we also go ahead and do HPV sampling for the women when the person lies down, before even the VIA is done, we take an endocervical or ectocervical sampling for the woman. Here, we, depending on the machine that we are using for the HPV DNA testing, a dry sampling is taken or a liquid-based sample is taken. So here, the HPV DNA testing that we do, we do either dry sampling collection or liquid-based medium um, collection. And this thing prep, you can use it for two samples at the same time. The HPV, you can take a sample with a brush, endocervical brush, and then you wash the cells into the thin prep. And you can divide this thin prep into two. You can send one for cytology and then one for HPV DNA testing. And if the person is not even doing pap smear, you can continue and do reflex cytology so the woman tests positive for HPV with it there's no need of the woman coming to the center again for lie, to lie down for a sample to be taken for the pap smear talking about pap smear in module 1 to we teach them how to take pap smear pap smear was the first method i may say apart from the VI that we used to do cervical cancer screening and this is a pre-packed it comes in this form it has 
a spatula that we use to take ecto cervical sampling and it have a brush that we also use to take endo cervical sampling it has a glass light and a fixative so we teach them how to take this sample and immediately pour or fix it with the fixative on the slide that we pack it and send it to the lab or cytology then we don't only do health worker sample collection we also do self sampling as well and one of the device that we have here that we use for self sampling is called the Evelyn brush and this Evelyn brush the woman gets it at her own comfort go to your bedroom or the washroom and just open it's a pack you just open it pick out your device open it and insert it into the vagina it has a stopper that will stop it here then the plunger is pushed you hear a click that shows that you have pushed it well then with a click for five times you turn it turn the brush for five times after the woman has turned it for five times she brings it down from the vagina pull it pull the brush in cover it this way put it back into the cover hand it over to the health worker and then they'll send it to the lab for the hpv dna test to be done now should they test positive for any of this either via pap smear or hpv what do we do we also introduce them to corposcopy corposcopy is using a mag doing via under magnification because apart from the corposcope the device we are using you are using acetic acid and a cotton swab to dab the service with acetic acid so it's a glorified via as we always say but because it's under magnification Come on the days when only specialists in big facilities or tertiary facility that uses um, corposcope, which is known as a stationary corposcope. It's stationary because it is not movable. So when a woman tests positive for pap smear, those times only pap smear, they have to look for a facility where a, a stationary corposcope is and a specialist who can also do corposcopy is to do corposcopy for the woman and as we talk now it's not every facility that have stationary corposcope why are we introducing them we are introducing them because there's now a new um, devices that are mobile that we can use so we have a device here that we also introduce them in module one to know how to do corposcopy with this device it is a mobile corposcope the one i showed first is a stationary corposcope which is not movable or which is difficult to move and this one is a mobile corpus it's a mobile corpus because you can even put it in your bag and travel with it and do corposcopy at every location so this corposcope we have here have a data collection we have geographical data about the client and can also store image the image when the, uh, the health worker takes the image can share the image with a specialist should the, uh, the health worker see any premalignal issue or something that is suspicious on the service this device can store it show to the woman and discuss with a specialist unlike the stationary that is only the doctor who sees what is on the service the woman has not seen it and cannot even take image to show to the client but this one the client after finishing the corposcopy the woman sees his her own image and see what is on the actual service and that the photo or the image is also discussed with a specialist on the way forward as i'm talking now to show this at last we are seeing here we use this device to take all these images to do atlas for teaching so it keeps data and you can use it trans uh, uh, export it into onto laptops and then use it to do your teaching as well so this is what we teach them in module one 
aside that this cutting swap we are seeing here is also part of the training that they also undergo because where do we get this swap from you can import them but we have to solve our own problem locally so we buy um kebab sticks and the cutting wool then we teach them how to do the swap themselves so there's no, no need of looking for where to get a swap or how to import a swap into the country to even do just VIA for a woman. If you get this your own way, sit uncomfortable in your consulting room, you can do your own cutting swap. Then you do your VIA that we tell them, we teach them to do. Apart from that, we have another module that is module two. In module two, what do we do? We teach them how to treat precancerous lesions. First, we use a device that we call the cryotherapy or the cryo system. And the cryo system uses um, carbon dioxide. This is a cylinder. And then this cylinder contains, we have the one that contains carbon dioxide here. There are some of them that uses nitrous oxide. And this natural oxide sometimes is even very difficult to even get the gas fill into the cylinder. If you are from, let's say, King Tampo and it's empty, you have to carry it all, al all along to a liquid to come and fill this. And it's even difficult to carry this device to a very hard to reach area to go and treat women. So as we are, we are teaching them how to use it, we teach them how to use the cryotherapy system and the same way because of technological advancement we have another device that is also mobile that you can use to treat the woman this one we have Liga Thema Coagulator Liga Thema Coagulator it comes with a system have a chargeable battery and then it has a probe this is module 2 after learning how to take all the samples do the VIA and to expose service and get the precancerous you see, what do we do we have to treat because you can't get the lesions and then leave the women just like that so what do we do the women that are amendable for ablative treatment either you use the cryotherapy or you use the uh, mobile ablative therapy system which is the uh, thermal coagulator so you fixing your device this way in 45 seconds you treat a woman looking on the atlas here we use this same device to treat this lesion there was a lesion on the surface so if you can see the scumoculumna junction and then the lesion is amenable for treatment the lesion is not so big on the surface the lesion is a minor lesion the lesion is not going into the endocervical canal then you'll be able to use this within 45 seconds less than one minute you treat a woman and this is done only at a line the woman will not have to get up and look for facility to get treatment so as the woman lies down as you can see this applied onto the service a lesion pop up then immediately you show it to the woman using the mobile coposcope the woman sees that i have a lesion on my service compared to the to the normal one and say okay i want to be treated so as la one lying down one speculum passing a woman gets treatment from um, cervical cancer using the thermal coagulator which uses only 45 seconds so this is a module too so all what we are saying is that cervical cancer is killing our women and there's advanced technologies that are coming. So there's a way that we can get to a hard to reach areas to screen and treat women. So basically, what we are doing here is that training the middle cadet staff in a cheap compound, in a health center, in municipal facilities, or if you want to get all this, every woman can get screened and treated. Cervical Cancer Prevention and Training Center is saying that let us get health workers trained so that with all these advanced or technologies that has come, we can get cervical cancer screening and treatment to the doorstep of women in Ghana. Thank you.